Hi guys! Today we are going to review one piece. Uh, it's a one piece Kuji and I think it's the best of all Yes. Uh, can't wait to show you guys how Big Mom and Kaido looks like side by side. Uh, but that aside, we are going to review the small prizes for this Kuji set first. So, <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to introduce you the cage prize. Cage prize are Shikishis. Uh, basically, they are art boards uh, featuring uh, the one piece movie. So, uh, yep, here we go. This is Go Roger, right? So the Shikeshi is actually Go at the back. It has like a Go prints around. Choppa! all of the shikishis they have various art from the anime uh, uh, when they're young yeah so this is like Luffy with shanks and you can see like previously my like, big mom with all the three brothers and uh, of course Zoro with his friend uh, his troubled friend yeah and of course Nami I forgot what's the other name yeah I forgot the name <laughs> okay so uh, yeah Nami with his her family and Sanji with his uh, his master chef so you can see that all of them uh, reflects the past. Yeah, and Frankie is over here. So all of them uh, uh, past, they are past. The, the reflects scenes from the past. Yeah. So if you have a favorite character, you can actually choose the, the, the character that you want. Uh, they are not blind, so feel, feel free to choose them. Uh, remember to give me your uh, priority list if uh, you're playing with me. We allow you to choose your prizes uh, if they're not mine. So remember to give me a priority list so that I can pack efficiently. Yeah, so uh, that's all for the H prize. Okay, we have the G prize here, but the G prize, uh, we have a lot, right? It's like one more bag. Uh, to save time, we are not going to open every single one of them. I'm just going to show you how the box looks like, and uh, I'm just going to open one. Okay, uh, I would like to open a Zoro. No, actually, I want the, the Nami. The Nami looks good, so I'm gonna try and choose one that has the Nami. I'll have this! So, am I gonna get the Nami? What do you think? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think is in this box? Okay, let's see. I wanted a Nami, so I'm not sure whether I'll get a Nami. What? <laughs> Why do you give me kid? <sighs> okay, so I got kid, uh, but I'm just gonna show you anyway the, the cup. The cup is big. Okay, the cup is big. Uh, it's actually it's actually it's actually quite nice. Eh, the cup It's a nice size. Uh, it's not the usual glass small cup, which uh, I think is a good change. It's a good change. We need this kind of cups more, but of course not too much. And uh, this is the first time I see such a cup uh, that is like a big size. It's plastic, uh, by the way. See? Yeah, it's plastic. It's not glass. So I guess if uh, glass is a better material, they'll do it smaller. <laughs> if it's a plastic plastic material, you have to like, uh, they have to do it big. They can do it bigger. Yeah. So let me see if there is like a... Okay, they didn't say how big is this cup. Nope, they didn't. Okay, so that's the cup for you. We have the H prize here. Where is it? H. Oh, sorry. We have the F prize here. And uh, F prize are like a uh, bag. Uh, it's a similar, it's a similar bag to the one with uh, Dragon Ball, but I think this one is made of cloth material. The other one, not 
I mean, it's also cloth, but it's more of a setting kind of material. See, look, cotton cloth kind of material. Yeah. So there's actually two kinds of uh, uh, bags. Uh, one is the oh okay. Yeah, yeah. There's actually two kinds of bags. One is the, the similar to the Dragon Ball uh, setting material. The other one is the cloth bag. So uh, there's plenty of bags to choose from. Uh, the designs are not blind. I'm just going to show you guys how they look like, okay? I'm going to sort them first. Okay, so uh, this is... Uh, this is what I'm talking about just now. Uh, the setting kind of material. I'll open up one later for you guys to see. And this is the cloth bag. Alright. Okay, so I'm here with the bags open. Uh, this is the, the kind of like satin material, but not really satin, it's uh, more rough. So there's a button here and there's a sling here. Yeah, so it's uh, more of a sling bag where you can actually put uh, coins or handphone, a small casual bag. Yeah, uh, one piece. ASL, that's very nice. I like how they designed the Luffy, sorry, Luffy, Ace and Sabo, their hats. I mean, come to think of it, they all wear hats. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, the bag. And this is the smaller one, which I mentioned, it's a cloth material. They actually, it's basically the cloth, yeah, the, the cloth kind of material. And they made it into a bag, which you have a button and you can pin it like that. I'm not sure which, what, what you can use this for. I mean, it's rather small. Probably uh, you can put some coins, I don't know, or maybe some wet stuff. Uh, to be honest, I, I have no idea. What do you think? Maybe you can give me uh, some suggestions for uh, this kind of bag in the comments below. Yeah, so there you have it, two kinds of bags. You can choose the designs that you wanted. It's not blind. So that's all for the small price and we are now at the figurines already. So uh, E-Price is actually Kit. Uh, we not the first time that we see Kit as a price figure already. So uh, not too sure how this is different from the rest, but we'll take a look. We will go we will unbox this now. Okay, Kit is out of the box already. Uh, this is how the figure looks like. Uh, I try to put it close. Facial expression, uh, sorry, facial expression is okay. Uh, the arm looks whoa, looks nice. Okay. So uh, his main source support stand is over here and here, and there's actually one at the back to hold up his cape. Sorry, yeah, and there's a specific placement that you. That you placed, uh, you're supposed to like uh, insert in the correct way so that it can uh, fit into the cape right here. Mm. So yep. Let's see the back. Uh, the back is full of cape. Yeah, rough material. You can see that. Mm -hmm. You see the materials are quite nicely made. Uh, pants are okay. Yep. Uh, I do not know why they make it triangular, tr the base triangle, uh, triangle. I don't really like triangle base because I feel that they occupy too much space. Um, but anyway, this figure itself is big, so I guess it's fine. Yeah. So that is the E price. Okay, in my hand here is the E price. The E price is uh, long. Yeah. So uh, let's take a look at how law looks like in his box. Okay, these are the box and we have Law in a triangle base again. So this is how Law, no, sorry, this is how Law looks like uh, out of the box. His tattoos are there. Death. <laughs> and his uh, sword is detachable. I mean, uh, we have to assemble it when uh, we open him out of the box. Uh, 
So it's kind of hard to take a photo, a good photo of him here. I have to bend the camera really low to actually see his eyes. Yeah. And uh, also this is actually from the Masterly's, uh, what's that? What's XP's? I don't know what's XP's, but uh, yeah, it's the masterly sign. So um, uh, that's the masterly sign. Yeah. So uh, this is probably from the masterly lineup, and uh, you can expect a good size from it. Yep. And the details uh will probably not let you down. Yeah. So here is law. So uh, this is the C price. C price is Luffy, and uh, Luffy is. Well, he's usually the A prize, right, for Fuji set, but this, because this set has uh, Kaido and Big Mom as A and B, so I guess Luffy has no choice to degrade himself as C. <laughs> so we're gonna unbox it. Okay, see all of the box and Luffy. Okay, he also comes with a triangle base. Okay, uh. Just now when I was assembling it, right, the, this foot actually had to push it like further back to actually put in the pack. Yeah, you see, it comes out easily. So. Over here, you see, you need to push it. Sorry. Like, there you go. Push it. Push it like behind so that he can fit in properly. But I guess uh, this is like a QC, QC problem. Yep, but overall still okay. His hands, his face, yeah. Still good. Let's turn him around. Oh, I like it when they. Because his uh, his head is actually torn by buggy before I think if I'm not wrong uh, like they, they actually sew it back the details there hmm? yep so that is Luffy okay we are here with the B prize B prize is Big Mom okay everybody has been uh, telling me they want to play this Fuji because uh, yeah there's Big Mom and Kaido I think it's the first time we've seen Big Mom as a, a full scale Figure, uh, price figure, technically, yeah. So everybody can't wait to see, uh, to see how she looks like in, uh, in, in, in display. So, yep, here we go, we are going to unbox it. Okay, so Big Mom is out of the box. Whoa, look at the, look at the weapon. The weapon has a face. It looks evil. <laughs> Okay, so um, the support stands uh, is actually connected to the to the what do you call that the, the sword yeah the sword the sword and uh, there's a pack there sorry there's a pack there there's a pack there that connects uh, the sword yeah so uh, it's uh, actually separatable over here you have to connect it over here so yeah look at her feet so tiny and she's so big. So, big mom for you. Look at the face. Will she give you nightmares? <laughs> the cape at the back, uh, long and flowy. Uh, the hair, nice, nice. We can move this? No, we cannot. Okay, and the tattoo over here. Alright. A uh, very nice uh, piece of work. Thank you, Bandai Spirits, for giving us Big Mom. Uh, but I must say, she's not big enough. La. She still looks uh, pretty small compared to the first Kaido that we had. Yeah. Alright, that's Big Mom for you. She's B prize, so keep a look out for her, alright? Okay, we have uh, A prize here. A prize is uh, Kaido. He's uh, smaller than the first Kaido that was released by uh, Bandai Spirits. Uh, the first one was huge. This, this is uh, okay, I mean, like, uh, it's, it's still big, it's just that it's very... Um, I mean, compared to that Kaido that we had previously, this one is actually uh, smaller. 
Okay. Okay, Kaido is off his box already and I uh, I don't really like Kaido's weapon. Why must he why must Oda create such a weapon for him? <laughs> it looks so boring. His character design is so messy, but like his weapon choice weapon of choice is like so boring. Okay, this Kaido, uh, as you can, uh, if you have the first Kaido, right, you can, the first thing you notice that he is, he is like, he has his clothes on. The first Kaido we have doesn't have his clothes on. And you can see that he has his dragon horns and his face looks as, as small as usual. Okay, for this comes with an instruction sheet. Uh, that's nice of them. You guys read instructions. Yeah, but um, <laughs> sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. Okay, so uh, the whole thing is massive. The whole thing is quite big. Uh, and he's very heavy. I guess expected of it. Uh, heavy, heavy. And that's his chain. And you have this support stand over here and connect his feet here and here. Yeah. In his long beard, which is flexible. Okay, so that's Kaido for you. I'm gonna display them uh, together with Big Mom. Hold on. Okay, here is uh, Kaido and Big Mom. Oh, probably I have to display it like uh, face to face. Yeah, so this is. Where they clash. What about the other side? This angle looks good. Ah, this angle looks good. Okay, so I know that Kaido has been released before, but uh, this pose is probably more compatible with Big Mom instead of the previous Kaido. Because I think that Kaido is a, a little too big. And uh, for this, Big Mom is actually smaller in size. So uh, to pair it off, uh, they have to release another Kaido uh, that is like a, of a similar size. So if you get either one, you probably have to get the other, the other party as well. <laughs> Good. Okay, we are off to the last prize, which is also a Kaido, uh, but it's of a different variant color. So I'm going to leave Kaido here and unbox the other Kaido. Dun -dun! This is the box compared to the, the other Kaido. Quite hard to fit both boxes in the camera, but I try my best. So this is the A prize, and this is the last prize. The box difference, and you can see that one is a darker color and one is a lighter color. Yep. So we're gonna unbox this now. Okay, so this color is out of the box already and you can see that the color is a little bit different. If you forgot about the A price video, I'll show you guys later the side-by-side -side comparison. But uh, over here, uh, it's exactly the same Kylo, the same pose, it's just that the color is different. Lah. Yeah, and okay, I'll show you guys side-by-side. -side. Kylo, last price, and Kylo, A price. Mm, you can see that the hair, yeah, the hair, the hair color for the last price is lighter. Generally, the last price has everything lighter, like the clothes, even the weapon, the weapon is lighter. And even the cape, I'll turn the cape, I mean, I turn the figure around, you'll get what I mean. But uh, generally, yeah, the last price seems to be a little bit lighter. 
So it depends on uh, uh, which color that you like. So you can see that, you know, this one is uh, like light, lighter blue. Well, this one is like a black, black, blue, black. <laughs> yep. All right, so that's all for me. Uh, this is uh, Best of Omnibus One Piece. And uh, are you guys going to play? Looks good, right? Uh, you guys should really uh, check the Kuji out, uh, including the last, I mean, including the small prizes because the cups are really of a good size. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to comment, please uh, leave us a comment below. We are happy to answer. If there's anything that we didn't cover or if there's anything that you'd like to know, you can actually drop us a, a, a comment and we'll try our best to uh, enlighten you with answers. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you so much for uh, watching our unboxing of Kuji once more. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next unboxing Kuji video. See you, bye-bye!